when you have a framework, people are also a lot more patient with your piece of content. Why? Because when a person sees that image, they can straight in establish, oh, wow, I have three steps, five steps, seven things I need to do, and I've just learned one and two. I probably should stick around to understand what the other three is. Right? So when you understand, when your audience understand the, the destination of where you're taking them, the odds of them engaging and consuming your content and staying all the way to the end, whether it's for a phone call, whether it's for an ad, whether it's for a sales video, is going to be significantly higher. One of the best ways to sell without selling is just utilizing frameworks. And whether you're selling a physical product, a digital product, a done for you, a consulting, a service, software, Understanding how to use frameworks the right way will enable your audience to be learning, having an amazing experience, hanging on your every word, and wanting to buy from whatever it is that you offer at the end. And that is all through just utilizing how to execute frameworks well. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes to showing you how you can utilize frameworks and show you how even the top thought leaders in the world utilize this framework as well. Let's begin. By the end of this hour, you're gonna learn this one thing that I do in all of my funnels, this one thing that I do in all of my delivery when it comes to teaching content. I do this in all of my pitches, in my sales videos. I do this in all of my events. I do this in when I'm selling stuff. And when you understand this, you understand why when it comes to truly making a sale, it is not about selling the thing, which is something I talk about. What do you think that might be? I just want to be able to kind of gauge, right? What do you think this thing is? Okay, somebody said, um, it's, it's seating. Okay, let's see. Positioning, storytelling, sell flows, front end offers, the value marinade, all pretty good guesses. Okay. Um, so let's just see, they're all not wrong. Um, the way I'm going to reveal it is to get you to think about what these images all have in common. Okay. So, uh, this is Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. With uh, rich dad, poor dad. And if you've ever read this book, just type in number one. If you've ever read the book, rich dad, poor dad. Okay. Just type in number one. If you've ever read this book. Okay, uh, one of the best or rather top selling number one personal finance book in terms of sales um, of all time talks about this image over here, which is the ESBI uh, framework. This is three circles from best selling author Jim Collins in his book Good to Great. And these three circles, he called it the hedgehog concept, to show people that if you want to be able to be truly fulfilled, doing something you love that's in line with your strength, you gotta find something that's in line with your natural abilities, something that you love, and also understand how to market it. And when the three circles overlap, he calls it the hedgehog, right? Where it's in line with your natural ability, it's what you love doing, and you're getting paid well for it as well. Number one, New York Times bestselling book for many years. This is an image used in to explain um, the human needs, the wants and needs of humans. Taught in school, taught in psychology, um, and it talks about how, as humans progress in life, they would have different wants and needs as they progress. The highest being self-actualization. So it utilizes this pyramid. This over here looks like a simple triangle. And this simple triangle is a triangle that's used in Tony Robbins events. If you've ever been to uh, a Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within or his 10 or is it 8k date with destiny uh event you will see that he spends 
many hours talking about this one triangle where he talks about how uh, the the meaning to anything in life really is the focus, language, and uh, physiology. He calls this a triad. And this is um, an illustration he utilizes a lot. Now, as I give you these different examples, um, this was pulled from my sales letter, Content Multiplier Formula, um, and a free plus shipping offer that I used uh, when I launched this offer back in 2017, so many years ago, uh, to show people, marketers specifically, the process of multiplying content of what it takes to be able to shoot a video and have this video multiplied across different platforms. This is a another image that I use in order to show people how to run successful events uh, through the event codex. And I utilize this image here where I said to run an event well, to make sure it's profitable, you gotta understand how to sell tickets, you gotta get people to show up, you gotta fulfill the event, you gotta execute this upsell, and you gotta understand how to leverage the event. So based on this, okay, what do you think today's session is about? Okay, let me know in the comments right now. So based on what I just mentioned, okay, that's right, it's about frameworks, okay? Um, and it might be the case that you might have heard me say this in previous events before, uh, but to the, the goal of today's implementation hour is going to be very different. I want to show you how to think about frameworks and apply it in your messaging. It could be on social media. This could be on ads. This could be on your sales video. This could be on webinars. This is going to be on how you teach a specific thing. This could be based on, this is going to change the way you sell things as well. Okay, so first of all, why do you think a framework might be important? Okay, so let's just let's just come back to the first example. Okay, let's come back to this first example. You see, this first example is a, a billion dollar framework. If you were to take into account all of the sales that Robert Kiyosaki has ever generated through his marketing, books, courses, trainings, all of it, if you include the royalties, translation, and all of that, you'll see that his work is truly based on this, what he calls the cash flow quadrant, right? And he called it the ESBI, where he says, there's really only four ways to generate wealth. The first way is you can be an employee, you can where you have a job, the second one is S, you can be self-employed, where you are the business, and if you don't work, nothing happens. Or you could be a business owner, or you could be an investor where you have money working for you. And he says, the only way to become truly wealthy is if you are in the B or I quadrant. Okay, now this one simple concept has changed everything. Now. It could be the case that somebody before Robert wrote his book, it could be the case that this person said this before Robert did. It could be the case that this person did an event that says, hey, do you know there's four ways to make money? You could be an employee, you could be self-employed, you could be business owner, you could be an investor. However, even though it might say the same thing, there is a world of difference when there is a visual representation to the content. Why? Okay, I want you, I want you to tell me the answer. What does a so that's what brings us to today. Okay, so today, yes, it is about frameworks. And much more than that, it's frameworks that actually work. Okay. Now First of all, why use a framework? So based on all of the different examples that I've shown you, why do you think, just by putting it visually, it's more powerful than just somebody explaining in bullet point format in words? Uh, Islam says nobody can steal it. 
Okay, Islam, I'm gonna unmute you. Could you elaborate to us and tell us what do you mean by that? What I meant by that is that no one can bring the, the ESBI uh, image of Robert Kiyosaki and then tell everybody, I did this. So even if they still teach the same concept, but this image is still uh, a, propri a proprietary for uh, Robert Kiyosaki. That's right, right? So number one, what Islam said, thank you Islam, is that it's proprietary. Robert can choose to license it out translate it, receive royalties. And if he chooses to, first of all, he can protect that work. You'd say that this, this thing is something that I created. But you can't say, oh, I was the first person that ever said there's four ways to generate wealth, which is being an employee, self-employed, being a, a business owner or being an investor, right? So that's one, right? You can protect it, it's proprietary, and you can call and it's yours and why is that the case it is because we all learn differently right some of us we learn because it's written and we are able to read well some of us learn well when it's visually stimulating so we are visual learners right through an image some of us we are auditory we're good listeners some of us, we learn by doing, by movement, by touch, which is kinesthetic, right? And we all learn differently. Now, based on what I mentioned, what is your main learning style? Are you visual, auditory, or kinesthetic? So this means that if we are selling something, if we're teaching something, we are making a point about something, and if we're not showing people visually the process of how it works, they're not going to learn or understand that point as well as if you did show them this visual representation of here's how it works. Okay. Now I want to, I want to mention one thing. Okay. The thing, the point I want to make first, establish first is it doesn't matter what market you're in. You could be in B2B, you could be selling supplements, you could be selling courses, training, you could be a speaker, you could be selling a done for you service. All businesses, can use a framework in order to make and establish a point better, okay? And I'll come to that as we progress. But understand that having a framework is not about just for people who wanna sell courses or training or workshops. It is for anybody who wants to be able to make and establish a point well. And that will be for all markets, right? Because you want your audience to understand what it is that you do. So this means, okay, uh, that when you have a framework, people understand, people are, is able to absorb what it is that you're teaching. Which brings us now to the next point then. So if it is that important, how do we use it, right? What, what if I sell fill in the blank product here okay so typically before i teach you how to create a framework a very common question that i get is oh but ping jun i sell insert product here i sell supplements i sell vitamins i sell skincare products i sell software right how will having a framework help me sell this thing better okay that's a and then people think, oh, frameworks equals, you gotta be selling courses to, to utilize it, when clearly that's not the case. So let me just tackle that first, okay? How many of you here, let's just kind of divide this in two groups for now. How many of you here right now, inside your offer, there is some sort of, you're selling some sort of information, training, course, digital product, software, Okay, just type in number one if you are. Number two, if your business is not in selling any type of course, training, software, or digital product. Okay, number two if, if that's you. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the number twos, right? So this would be like Sammy, Francis, Joanne, Malin, James. Okay, for those of you who type in number two, type in that product that isn't that digital product, that isn't that course, that isn't that 
software. Okay, so let, let's let's um, I'm gonna work with you to show you how that might look like. Okay, guys, type for those of you typing number two, type in what is the product that you're selling, and I'll show you how to think about it. Right? Okay. So Gene says, uh, cookware, Sammy selling fashion jewelry, right? Malin is selling skincare, toners, hydration masks, serums. Okay. Okay. So. Let's just think about this for a second, right? So what is the purpose of a framework? Now, in order for me to answer that question, let's come back to um, the slides here for a second, okay? So for those of you saying, but I'm selling cookware, I'm selling skincare, I'm selling toners, I'm selling you know, fashion jewelry, how will a framework help me? Now, the way I'm going to explain that to you is to show you exactly how I use frameworks to sell my products. Okay, let's take for example, sales process. Most people will never wake up in the morning thinking themselves, oh, you know what? Today seems like to a good day to invest in an all-in-one marketing platform, right? Nobody wakes up feeling that. The same way how in most cases, most people don't wake up in the morning feeling, oh, I need to get this thing. So what we want to be able to do is, in order to understand how to use a framework, the only thing people want truly is they want a specific result first. Okay. So for those of you uh, that, that is thinking about how to use a framework, I'd like you to begin with number one. Okay. Number one, please write down result. What is the result? Your audience want okay so for gene selling cookware it might be to be able to cook dishes at home that loved ones enjoy result could be i want to be able to save money so that i can save money and time um you know cooking from home the result could be i want to be able to cook tasty dishes to impress my friends the result could be i want to be able to have that convenience so that I can have a meal done in under 15 minutes. Okay, so that's a result, right? For Sammy, it says fashion jewelry. What's the, what's the result? I want to be able to look good without, like, like, like while being on a budget, without walking into um, Hermes or I'm trying to think about brands that Shuing likes. Oh, you know, br one of the brands that I fear the most is Van Cleef. Okay. I, I fear every time when shooting walks into Van Cleef, I'm like, oh man, here we go, right? So how do we, right? That, that's the result. How do I get something that looks similar to this, right? Well, maybe it's fashion jewelry, right? So for Malian, same thing, right? It's like skincare. What's the result? I want to be able to have that level of confidence. I want to be able to not think twice about going out because I've got this massive zit on my forehead right so i want to have clear i want to be able to have clear radiant skin right so based on the result that's what people want then based on the result we will reverse engineer the steps and our product or the offer is in one of the steps so I'll do an example of how I do it and then I'll show you like how you guys can do it, right? So how I think about frameworks, whenever I'm thinking about creating a piece of content, whether it is in a sales video, whether it's in a webinar, whether it's in part of my training, whether it's in a book, I begin with the result, okay? So this is the result they want. So let's say the result is, I wanna be able to not worry about my social media content and my next quarter of content is all done without me having to stress about it, right? So that's that's a result I know that chances are social media managers and, and entrepreneurs would want. Then I'm thinking, okay, so that's number one result. Number two would be, what are the steps that's required in order to get the result? And I'll typically try to think about, I'll try to simplify it. And typically it's about three, five, seven, some cases nine if it's really lengthy, but in most cases I stick to three or five. Okay, so let's say if that's the result, 
I could say, okay, so step number one is use chat GPT utilizing this prompt. Okay. Step number two is based on this prompt, you want to be able to make it original. Step number three is after you make it original, you want to be able to copy and paste it into some sort of social media scheduler so that you'll be able to have the process automated. Now, what do you think step three is? Step three is a feature of my product or offer. Does that make sense? So now I'm selling my product without having to sell it. I'm selling by leading with some sort of result or education and value. This means that a framework can either be inputting or including your offer in one of the steps, or it could be the entire framework is actually part of your offer. Okay. Now, what does this mean? So for example, let's come to this example. Okay. So for content multiplier formula, when I launched this um, in 2017, right, this was about the process on multiplying your content. And how is it? So what's the result? The result is you shoot one video and this one video would become a blog post. It would become a short. It would become um, an, 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 uh, a, a long form video. You will be able to create podcasts from it. You'll be able to create social media images, right? And ultimately a dozen, you know, different types of content from one main content, right? And the process of doing it so that you'll be able to streamline and automate this entire thing. So what's step number one? You notice like step number one is to, to shoot the video, right? Step number two is to get it, you know, trans uh, put it, storing it in a systematic way. Step number three is getting it transcribed. Step number four is um, chopping it up to, to have it fit into the different platforms. Right. Step number five is making sure it has got the different dimensions ready. Step number six is making sure that thumbnails are up. Step number seven is repurposing to audio format. Step number eight is scheduling it. And then finally, number nine is monetizing of it. Now, this is where the framework comes in, right? So these are nine steps. And based on these nine steps, you can either go do it yourself or you could work with us to have it done together with you. Or if you want a done for you version, which is not for everybody because it is high ticket, you could work with my team to have it done for you. Where we, you come into the studio, we shoot with, you shoot my team. And after that on the back end, my team does all these things done for you. So notice how I'm starting the conversation with some sort of result. I'm genuinely giving them the steps and how to do it. But now the offer is you could get the book. The offer is you could get the, the course and the masterclass. The offer is you could have the done for you version, which is basically all of the steps. Notice what I'm not doing. What I'm not doing is when selling a thing, I'm not saying, I'm not coming from the angle of skincare toner, amazing toner for sale. You know, buy one, get one free while stocks last. Hurry for a big 17 people only. That's not my ad. That's most people's ad, right? That's how most people sell stuff. They just go straight into the deal. This is what I'm selling. This is what I do, right? But notice how I'm, I'm still selling, but how many of you would agree that there's a level of value that's being given out right now? And even if a person doesn't buy, they still feel like they've gotten something from it. That is what I want you to be able to do for your audience. How is this, where is this applied? Okay. So this can be applied in a phone call where a person gets on a call with you or a team member and you show them a framework where you say, so in order for us to fill in the blank result, right? So this would be like, for Dennis or Damon, this would be like, so in order to help your business achieve exponential growth, I want to be able to walk you through the five steps, the seven things that you could be doing in order to make this happen, right? So that's a result, exponential growth, five steps. You could be using this in a Facebook ad where you show them 
This is the result. These are the steps. And again, one of those steps could link to what it is that you're offering or all of the steps could be your thing. This could be on a webinar. This could be at a live event. This could be a piece of social media content. This could be an article. And you might notice that in pretty much everything that I do, there's always a framework. You will notice that in my sales videos for a type of some sort of offer, there's some sort of framework. You'll notice that if I teach a piece of content somewhere, there's usually some sort of visual representation in order to illustrate that point. And I want to make it a habit for each and every one of you to be able to think of it that way because that's when you become less salesy. That's when your conversions increase significantly because now people understand what it is that your offer is about through some sort of value or education. When you have a framework, people are also a lot more patient with your piece of content. Why? Because when a person sees that image, they can straight and establish, oh, wow, I have three steps, five steps, seven things I need to do, and I've just learned one and two. I probably should stick around to understand what the other three is. Right? So when you understand, when your audience understand the, the destination of where you're taking them, the odds of them engaging and consuming your content and staying all the way to the end, whether it's for that phone call, whether it's for an ad, whether it's for that sales video, is going to be significantly higher. The next thing I would like you to do is to be able to declare how are you going to be utilizing this next framework? Is it going to be at your event? Is it going to be at a Facebook ad? Is it going to be in a book? Is it going to be in a training? Is it going to be part of your script in your phone call? What did you practice and how are you going to be utilizing it? Well, I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes to this coaching call. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is. And as always, be sure to smash the like button. It does help the channel out a little bit and to subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified of future videos just like this one. Now, some of you asking me, how can I be part of this process? How can I ask you questions? How can I have you coach me or mentor me? Um, we want to make sure that we are working with the people that's the right fit. You'll need to fill up a form. There's a link right below this video. Somebody on my team might give you a call to interview you to see if the right fit for each other. And if you want to apply and see if you're a good fit, then all you need to do is click on this link in the description box below and my team will be in touch with you.